we're still new to this thing called world travel. But one of the things we've learned is to do it well, connect with other people. We've had a viewer advise to us that when we came to this town, a list of things that we need to do. And what we're gonna do is each one of those things today. Welcome to Wanawato. 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 María Esther Garza Moreno, muchas gracias señora regidora por acompañarme. Nos acompaña también el señor cronista de la ciudad de Guanajuato, el doctor José Eduardo Vidal. One of the beautiful things about Mexico are all the sounds, the, the music and just sounds of the street. I was just on the phone to my mum in the hotel room and then heard a load of drums and trumpets. I thought there was a big parade starting. So I ran out, when Sarah says sounds, noise, Mexico loves noise, and that's something I quite like about Mexico, because I make quite a bit of noise myself. So I came running out of my camera, I managed to grab that bit there. So basically we're at the 1st of September, and the Mexican Independence Month is this month, it's 15th of September, I believe. 16th, I think. 16th, 15th, <laughs> something like that. So that was basically the um, president of the area introducing the festivities and showing what's going to be happening during the month. We tried to decipher what he was saying by using Google Translate on the fly. <laughs> One of the things we saw was that we need to thank Hector for his hairstyle. <laughs> so I don't know who Hector is, but Hector, well, <laughs> congratulations. Right, we're going to head now and see if we can get up the tall hill on the funicular mm. to the amazing monument that's on the top. So let's see how we get on with that. Well, that was very pleasant. How much did that cost us, Sarah? Uh, 60 pesos each way. No, return. Yeah, 60 pesos return. So for two of us, 120 pesos. And as I say, very pleasant. So we're going to see what's up here to spot. But a uh, very civilised route up, I think that was. I think there's a fantastic mirador. I will look forward to seeing that. Yeah, and a statue, which we know nothing about, but we're going to learn about the statue with you when we get here. Let's see. I thought we were at the top. Lost stairs. So you're seeing this for the first time with me. I don't know about you, but this reminds me of Portugal. Oh, absolutely. Just the, just the colors that yeah. you see. We could be in Porto now. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I've also not seen this, so you and me are going to see this together. I don't know if Sarah's looked behind her, but let's have a look at this monument. Equally wonderful. That towers all over Guanajuato. You can see it from just about anywhere down in the Centro area. And it really is pretty special. And down there, Sarah, is our hotel. If I had better glasses on, I think I might have been able to see us in bed last night. <laughs> so this fella behind me, is a statue to the War of Independence, and he is a figurative view of the heroes that fought for Mexican independence. What great timing that we've just been down in the middle of the center of Guanajuato, watching the opening ceremony of the festivities that are about to happen as part of independence for Mexico, and then we come up here. Not only that, it's not exactly packed today, so we got the place to ourselves. I don't know who he is. And <laughs> when did he get here? So it's just me, Sarah, 
and, and whoever. Ooh, ooh. Oi! We're heading back down in the funicular. We're not scared. <laughs> Long way down, though, isn't it? Not a good place to drop a GoPro, that's what I would tell you. <laughs> So that was going up to the Mirador, or the viewing platform, I guess you call it, here in Guanajuato. We took the funicular up and down, and I think if you're thinking of doing something like that, how long would you give that, Sarah? I think allow about an hour. It's obviously not, didn't take that long to get up, but the views are just stunning. So yeah. give yourself about an hour, and uh, yeah, we've had no queues today, we've had, we've had private what they call carriages. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and something great. up there, there's, uh, I shot that little video of Sarah sat on the steps. So that's like stadium seating. Mm. I could see if we were living here, what we'd probably do is buy a bottle of wine, <laughs> head up there with a bottle of wine, sit <laughs> on those steps. Well, bottle of wine. <laughs> I could do a picnic as well if you fancy it, but bottle of wine, sit on those steps up there and finish the bottle of wine, just looking at the amazing view and contemplating your life. Yep, and have you done the right good. thing? And I think if you sat up there, the answer is probably. Should we go back up? Go I'd on. like to, but <laughs> I've heard that there's this amazing coffee place that does the best coffee okay. in the whole of Mexico. Oh, the whole of Mexico. So let's go there next. Wow. We were on our way to the coffee shop, but another place that our lovely viewers, John and Connie recommended was this, Cafe Santos. They said it's worth coming here if you get a seat on the bridge. We've got a seat on the bridge. So we're going for a couple of crepes. I'm having a smoothie and Sarah's having a tea. No, Agua Mineral. Agua Mineral. <laughs> so we're going to do that. I'm not having a coffee because I want to go to this place with the best coffee. So we're going to go there after this. <laughs> what a day. We've just come from uh, Cafe Santos. Yes. Literally just walk from there to here. <laughs> this is the thing, we've only got 24 hours in this city, so it's not like we can say, oh, okay, Cafe Santos is good. Do you know what? I don't know if I fancy a coffee. So let's have a coffee tomorrow. Can't do that. We've got to get it all done today. <laughs> We're now at Cafe Tau. We have been reliably informed this is the best coffee in Mexico. So I'm thinking that means it's almost as good as Starbucks. That's, that was a joke. No comments. No comments. If this is anything like Starbucks, I want my money back. Come on, Sarah. Let's go grab a coffee. Okay. <clears throat> Looks good. Let's see how it tastes. That tastes good. That's not Starbucks. That tastes good. Not sure I can speak for all of Mexico because I've not seen all of it, but comparing to anything I've drunk in Mexico City, Calatro or San Miguel, this is the best. We're all caffeinated up now. That's given us a boost, hasn't it? Yeah, very nice it was, very so, nice indeed. Where are we off to next? We are going to a museum that's been recommended as well by John and Connie. So we're gonna go and check that out. I think it's about a 15 minute walk. So we needed a coffee. We needed a coffee, <laughs> so let's head there right away. After a brisk 15 minute walk, it was a bit brisk, I do apologise, because yeah, I, I wanted to do I'll this see. video that's on screen at the moment. I was miles behind. And I was going at quite a pace, because <laughs> I just want to keep it constant as a pace, Sarah, that's all. Yeah. That's all. So yeah, it was a brisk walk. Brisk walk, a bit sweaty now. <laughs> but we've arrived at the Regional Museum of Guanajuato. Guanajuato, that is. Juana, Guanajuato. No, Guanajuato. Guanajuato. There's no hat involved. Well, Juana the J Wato. is an H in Spanish. Regional <laughs> Museum of Juanajuato, <laughs> which was a former granary used as a fortress in the War of Independence for Mexico. That's all we know about it at the moment. We're going to head on inside and see what we can learn. But this whole video seems to be based around Mexico and its independence, which 
what better idea for a video than that? Yeah. It's not an idea we had when we started, but it's certainly one we're developing <laughs> as we go along. So we're gonna head on into this museum and see what it's got to offer us. So we're switching to my phone for this bit, purely because they charge for video cameras, but cell phones are free, something good to know. So this whole museum is all in Spanish, so you think, well that's difficult, but Google Translate, this is how we're working our way around. That was really interesting, definitely worth a visit if you're in Guanajuato. Yeah, it's uh, a Guanajuato museum, a lot of the things refer to Guanajuato in the war and, yeah. and that kind of stuff, but it's really just a history of Mexico and mainly Mexico's independence but there's some other really interesting things in here there's a there's a guy that was a photographer a top photographer and actually had some of his work displayed in the Paris exhibition back in the nine, early 1900s mm -hmm. and just looking at photos of people from Guanajuato at that time which is yeah. really interesting so well, I would say though if you can't speak Spanish or can't read Spanish and you haven't got a translating tool you, you're probably going to need one <laughs> but I showed you in here how we've used translation on our phones to work our way around. Made it a bit slower for us, but an enjoyable Love experience. It. The sun's and coming the sun's out. Come out. I think it's time we go in and got a beer. Yeah, yeah. And we've been informed of a great place to get a beer. So we're going to go there next. So this museum is a must if you're in Manawato. We're off. Let's go. Okay. So we've come for a beer to the place that's been recommended to us. Very nice it was too. And then we ended up getting some... Um, chicken, like wings. chicken wings as well. Mm. Having a brilliant day. It's great getting tips from people that know what they're doing. So let's see where we head on to from here, shall we? Yay. Sounds good. <laughs> well, a bit of a fail at the end of this one, in as much as I tried to book a table at the restaurant that's been recommended to us. Sadly not. I've got a different place, and I know what Sarah's up for this evening. I think she'll like it. <laughs> Our time here in Guanajuato has been short but sweet and we've really enjoyed it. It's such a great city. We've done a lot today. We've walked, well, we've nearly done, well, we've done our 10,000 for sure. So we've crammed a lot in, but really enjoyed it. We'll be back for sure. Yeah, we will definitely be back. We were a little bit disappointed that we're here for just effectively 24 hours, to be honest. And next week, you're gonna see what Plan C is all about, what we spoke about in last week's video. Is it going to be as exciting as I hope? And is it actually going to work out? I don't know yet. You're going to find out pretty much when we find out. So we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you've been here for a while, take a look at the rest of our videos from Mexico. You've been watching To Go Rome. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>